What's up guys? What's going on in the YouTube world? I am back. I had a sinus infection type thing going on and finally it's gone. Well, for the most part it's gone and I'm feeling a lot better. Ah, it's always it's always torture riding a motorcycle while sick. And I definitely didn't want to want you guys to hear me kind of sound like this because my nose is stuffy and my throat's all sore. So, uh, yeah, I didn't record anything. <laughs> ah, it's so nice outside. Nice blue skies, big poofy clouds. It's very nice. Look at riders. It's a riders day today here in Texas. Ah, uh, yes. But anyways, let's see if I could... I'm gonna go this different route today. I'm tired of going the same way. Let me go ahead and turn out this light and then I'll get back to talking. All right, done with the light, yay. Man, sometimes I wish the roads were just never ending. <laughs> By that I mean no lights and no stop signs. It's just much better on a bike. Uh, and some reason, for some reason, people think they need a speed in this neighborhood ridiculously. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, let's talk Yami. So let's talk Yamaha. Well, you know, uh, since I'm going to be looking for a bagger after a while, and I'm not sure what the heck I'm going to go to, uh, you know, Yamaha has a, they have, what, three baggers? Uh, two of them are non-fairing, and one of, is, one of them has a fairing with the stereo and uh, a couple other doodads. It's not like really awesome looking either in my opinion you know I, I, don't, I don't know it just the bags are a little weird but I must say even though I don't like the bags on that bike you know I do like the fairing it's cool looking the bike it looks cool it looks like a really good bike oh I'm just talking about a bike the bike I'm talking about is the Yamaha V-Star or you can just call it the V-Star 1300 Deluxe uh, one big problem I have with uh, the current models for Yamaha is, I mean, it's only a 1300 for crying out loud. It's like a, a what, 80 cubic inch, just over 1300 cc. That's, for me, that's really small, especially for a bagger. Uh, maybe that's why it looks like Yamaha has uh, taken, I don't know, it looks like it, they, they've taken a uh, a bike that doesn't have bags and then they put bags on it because the bags in my opinion do not match I mean they don't and I that's something I don't know I, I just I don't agree with it it looks like an afterthought on the uh, 1300 deluxe and the other ones well there's a 1300 which is basically the deluxe without a fairing and uh, the the other one is it looks just like the, well, whatever the 1300 without the fairing is called but it has a 950 on it now that's even even that is even a smaller engine which for a touring bike that's just very odd why am I even talking about touring bikes besides the fact that I am going to be searching for one later on down the line new bagger possibly I don't know I'm still loving my victory but uh, of course it's it's sadly no more. So I'm eventually gonna have to look for another one. Anyway, so what, why am I talking about Yamaha again? Because those who follow Yamaha or just follow motorcycle type of new stuff or are just a motorcyclist, you may know that Yamaha is going to do a reveal, a new reveal, a new motorcycle. June 5th is the big day, June 5th. 2017 uh, Yamaha is going to reveal a new bike and uh, Yamaha did put out three videos on YouTube kind of hinting to what it would be like obviously it's definitely going to be a touring bike hopefully it's going to be a fairing a new fairing bagger and uh, you know maybe it's going to be something that looks really awesome that's totally customizable because you know Anybody who knows a little bit about Yamaha, uh, Yamaha is pretty big into letting people customize their motorcycles. They have metal fenders front and back. They're very proud of that. And 
Yamahas are pretty much, you know, they're pretty easy to customize, especially for a Japanese motorcycle. And, well, I mean, it's not a Harley, so you, you, everything that's not a Harley is very hard to find customizable parts for, at least custom parts for, I mean. But, uh, Yamaha seems to have really gotten this down with the whole customizing thing. And pe people like it. But uh, I haven't really seen anything lately uh, in, the, in the whole light of customizing a Yamaha. So, uh, I mean, maybe this might open them up to the, you know, big wheel bagger scene. Who knows? But in the, in the third video, they do reveal just a little bit about the bike. It's at the very end. And what they do show is an extremely limited view or glimpse of the motorcycle, if it even is going to be the motorcycle. The front end kind of has like a four headlight, like R1 type of look to it. So I'm thinking they might do the big wheel bagger, or not actually a big wheel, but a bagger that could be turned into a big wheel. Or at least I'm hoping, because I really do like Yamahas, they're nice. But I'm thinking they're trying to uh, target and go after Honda's Goldwing. I mean, what bagger has four lights on the front? I don't know, you know, if it's a fairing with four lights. I don't know if it's bottom light. I don't know. It just, it looks kind of sport bikeish. It's, it's like I said, it's a very small glimpse. Come on, man. Just, you could go faster than that. God, jeez. In the three videos, they talk about different things. And of course, it's all about Star. And it's uh, people or Star riders who have been riding for quite some time. And they have really put in the miles on their Star motorcycles. In the third video is where they kind of reveal the types of things that is possibly going to be on the new motorcycle that they're going to reveal. Um... The riders are talking about certain things like heated seats, uh, heated backrests, and satellite radio, and this audio, and you know, all the little doodads and stuff, and I don't even know if it's going to be a V-twin, a four-cylinder, who knows? Hopefully it can compete with the other baggers. You know, it. like I said, it looks like they're going to do like a Honda Goldwing thing, but I don't know, maybe they, that's a a bad or fake photo that they're throwing out there to give everyone a glimpse. Maybe it's completely different from that. Who knows? Hopefully they stay within the V-Twin. I mean, it's a star. It's a V-Star. It's V-Twin, right? Those who... Man, it's windy. Those who watch my videos all the time, you might recognize one thing or notice one thing that I have changed. Boom! This camera housing is now a sleek new black to match my helmet. I just happened to find one on eBay and it was like eight bucks. So uh, yeah, I bought it. I was tired of the other one. It's actually bigger than this one. So I'm, I could see a little bit more, oddly enough, or surprisingly enough, actually. But uh, I didn't even factor that in when I bought it. I've ridden a couple Yamahas before and I've actually ridden an old one. And that thing was still smooth. Yamahas, they just, they're really good bikes. They make a really good engine and uh, they're, they're known for the reliability. And they do point that out on the video. And you know, that's what you really want is reliability out of a motorcycle, especially if you're going to tour and do a lot of mileage and just really log them in. But so you really want a reliable bike and that's what Yamaha brings to the table. So that's it. And, um, you know, that's it. If you don't know, now you know. And if you did know, thanks for watching. <laughs> and uh, keep it V-Beast mode and ride to the wheels fall off. This has been another random weekday video by your very own V-Beast. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Most of all, have a V-Beast day.